I'm going to be showing you how to install the sun canopy on the 100 series and 200 series riding lawn mowers. Now keep in mind that this particular sun canopy is going to be compatible with 2011 and newer 100 series tractors including the D and E models. Now what we have here is an S100 model. This is also going to fit on the S200 models as long as we have that cargo mount system. So if you'll stick with me here, we'll get started. First, we'll go ahead and open this up and see what all exactly is gonna come inside. We've got the box here. It tells us right here on the box that it's for 100 series and S240 riding mowers. Now, now that we're in 2021, we also have an S220. So just keep in mind, this is gonna be for all 100 series and 200 series riding mowers as well. Now, it also tells us down here that it slips into the cargo mount system for easy installation. It will protect you from sun rays and it also has a tough woven polyester construction for strength and durability so should be a pretty nice kit we'll go ahead and open it up here so first off we've got a set of hardware here looks like we are going to need just a few tools to do this install got various washers few nuts here and a couple of larger bolts here's going to be our vinyl polyester cover Next here, we've got a set of mounting rods. Now it looks like these are tethered with rope there on a couple of these pieces, much like you'd see on a tent and then just other structural rods here. Of course, we have our instruction manual and then we've got our other various tubule structural pieces here. All right, so now that we've got everything laid out nice and neat here, I'm gonna go grab the couple of tools we're gonna need and we'll start putting this thing together. Okay, so to start first thing, tools that we are gonna need for this job, First off is gonna be a 10 millimeter nut driver. Now, if you don't have a nut driver, of course, just a regular socket and an extension is we're gonna be using this up underneath on the bottom side of our cargo mount system here to mount these plates. So you are gonna want a 10 millimeter socket and extension if you don't have one of these nut drivers. Now, also for those larger bolts, we're also going to need a 13 millimeter socket and ratchet and a 13 millimeter wrench. So to start, we are gonna start by mounting our mounting plates here onto the bottom side of our cargo mount system. So that's also where we're going to take these four smaller nuts here, as these are going to go onto the existing screws here that are on our cargo mount system. So to put these on, we're gonna go larger. You can see here that the hole is larger at the top and smaller at the bottom. So we're just going to line that up on the bottom of our cargo mount system here. Make sure that's fitting around the top side of this hole on the larger side and around the bottom side on the smaller side here. And then we're just gonna go on with our nuts here. We'll just start by starting those by hand and then we'll tighten them up with our nut driver. Next, we're gonna find these four pieces here. These are gonna be our two uprights and our one flex rod here that's gonna have the rope in the middle and then also our cross member for our uprights. So we're gonna go ahead and put these together. We'll take one of those uprights there. As you'll see, it has the push tab there. We'll find our cross member and go in with it. Now you have to remember <clears throat> that this will be the back side of your mower. So these cross members, you wanna make sure that this rounded piece is going around the back, like it's around the back side of your seat. And then we'll attach our second one here. Just like so. And then once we have that together, next we'll go in with our top rod here. One there and one there. And then you have the back of your canopy assembled. Next, we're gonna go pick our last two big tubular frame pieces and we'll notice that on them, they are marked right and left. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and mount these. We're not gonna tighten them down as we're going to have to do some adjusting when we go on with our back, but it makes this easier if we go ahead and go on with these pieces. Now, in this cargo mount system, like we talked about, we have that larger hole 
and that smaller hole. So we're going to go in on the right hand side with our right one into that larger hole. Same thing over here on the left. Go ahead and start those. And then next, we're gonna go ahead and start our bolts through. Now, like I said, we're not gonna tighten these down as we may have to swivel these to make them fit. But what we're gonna do first is take one of our bolts and start with our smaller washer. Go on top with it. And we'll go right down through. You'll see in these frame pieces, there's a hole that's gonna go right down through the frame piece and the cargo mount system. So we'll go ahead and thread that all the way down and through and our nut here and go ahead and start it on the underside. So now that we've got those started, these will at least stay in there firmly. We don't have them tightened down yet. We'll make sure to go back and do that. We're gonna do the same thing here on the left side. Remember bolt, small washer goes on top. Thread that down and through and then up underneath with our larger washer and then with our nut Remember just getting it started, not tightening it down. Now next, we'll go ahead and go on with the back side. If you'll notice here on these frame pieces, you do have, again, these push tabs. That's what we're gonna line up. So this is just gonna go on top. We just need to make sure and swivel this to make those push tabs line up and to get these rods to line up on both sides here. Start one, line up your next. And from here, guys, we can go ahead and start putting together the actual canopy piece that'll mount on top. Next, we'll go ahead and get our actual canopy laid out just like this. We'll go ahead and have that silver side facing up as we install our support rods. So we're gonna wanna find these two white support rods here and then the two black thicker rods here. And these will be our structure for the actual canopy. So first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and connect. You'll notice that one of these support rods has this rubber material on it. We're gonna go ahead and connect it to the end that does not have a metal cap on it here. So we'll push that in until you fill it seat completely in the metal tubing there. And then we will connect to one of our support rod, our larger support rods here. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start feeding this through right here and just run this up and through. Now you've kind of got to work this as this is kind of like putting together a tent. If you've ever done that, you got to get it worked around to where we get our most flexible piece there in the middle. Now, once we've got that fed all the way through, we'll go ahead and connect our other support rod here, just like so. Now you should be able to make that bend in those support pieces, trying to get this fed down the rod, getting it even. And then once we have that done, we can go ahead and put this onto the machine or onto the other canopy pieces and to continue this install of the canopy. Okay, so here is where the fun part is going to begin. Now we get to actually bend the canopy here, bending our support rods, getting this material to start to work its way down the support rods, forming our actual canopy. Now we need to hold those steady and then get them lined up here in the top in our pieces here. Make sure to get those seated all the way back in as far as they will go, just like so. Then we'll reach back here and take the canopy and flip it over our rear support rod and getting it on just like so. Now next, we've got a couple of Velcro pieces on either side. We're just going to open those up. and then get those wrapped around here. Just like that. And then same thing here on the other side. And the design on this thing is great because if you don't have everything lined up correctly, the structure isn't quite right. So it is gonna make you pull this tight, make everything stiff, and really make that Velcro line up just right so that the structure is there. Now, your last step here is going to be attaching our supports here 
to our lower rod here. You do that just by undoing the clasp here. We're gonna wrap that around our support here, go up and through, and then back down on the underside. And then we can pull these tight to just give that extra structure to our canopy here. Just like that. And same thing on the other side here. Going up and through. And then back down. Making sure pulling that tight. Just like we said, getting that extra support, pulling everything tight, making this a really rigid structure. Now, speaking of that, the last thing that you need to do is make sure that you're going to the back here and tightening up your bolts that are going into your cargo mount system. All right, guys, and just like that, you've got a sweet new sunshade on either your 100 series or 200 series tractor. As you saw in this video, guys, very easy to put together, very few tools involved, and actually is a very nice sunshade. Um, a lot of people say that, you know, that these sunshades here are very chintzy and don't do much, but guys, I'm showing you here, you know, this goes all the way out over the top of my steering wheel here. So I'm definitely covered, you know, maybe not so much here on the sides, but right overhead, it's got plenty of cover. Um, pretty solid design. The material's nice. Um, overall, I think it's just a great product to have for your mower, especially if you've got those larger yards, you're gonna be in the sun for quite a long time. Maybe you're one that's very, um, you know, easily sunburned or just have a lot of issues with the heat. This would be a great option for you to look into. So after watching this, you know, if this is something that you think that you need um, for your mower, uh, make sure to check out that link in the description below. This is part number LP68122. Also guys, after watching this, um, if this video was helpful to you, um, we would just ask that you would please hit that like button and give us a subscribe as that helps us out as well. And also guys, if you have any other parts needs for either your mowers, your tractors, your gators, whatever those John Deere pieces of equipment are that you have, make sure to check out that link in the description below where you can go to get those parts. And also guys, if after watching this, if you have any other questions or if you have any comments or you feel like I left anything out, make sure to leave a comment in that comment section so I can get back to you. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to go buy your parts right here and subscribe right here.